Welcome to this video in which we will find the Thevenin equivalent circuit for a circuit that has both an independent and a dependent source. So you can see that I've got two circuits here. Um, the circuit that we'll actually find the Thevenin equivalent circuit of is the top one. This is a small signal equivalent model to the bottom one, and the bottom one is a particular type of transistor amplifier called a common emitter amplifier. Um, it's a very simple amplifier and is used quite extensively when you need a simple and cheap amplifier. So when you take this uh, common emitter amplifier, uh, operate it about some nominal bias point, and uh, look at what happens, you get the small signal equivalent on the top. And our goal is to find the Thevenin equivalent circuit of this small signal si circuit. So our goal then is to find the open circuit voltage and our Thevenin for uh, the circuit on the left. So without further ado, let's begin by finding the open circuit voltage. Okay, so we've marked the open circuit voltage, and now we need to figure out how to do the analysis uh, for the circuit. And it looks like probably the easiest way to do this analysis is to apply Kirchhoff's current law to this node. And if I do that, I get that the sum of the, well, and let's label this as a I2. I get that the sum of the currents entering the node, which in this case would be I sub B plus 50 I sub B. This is equal to what I've called I2 here. Okay. I2 is the current through this 2K ohm resistor. And the current through this 2K ohm resistor is going to be the VOC, that's the voltage across the resistor, divided by 2K ohms. Okay. Um, we also want to find out what IB is. And the way we can do that is as follows. You'll notice that the voltage across this 1K ohm resistor and this 50 ohm resistor is given by Vn minus VOC. Okay, so again, that's the voltage between or across this uh, series combination of the 1K ohm and the 50 ohm resistor. And so I can then express IB as Vn minus Voc over 1.05 k ohms. This is 1 k ohm plus 50 ohms. So I can now plug everything in and I will have that 51, that's a 1 here and a 50 here, times Ib, where Ib is Vn minus VOC over 1.05 K ohms is equal to VOC over 2 K ohms. And I can then, um, let's see, probably the easiest way to solve this then would be to multiply both sides by 2k ohms. So I can have a 2k ohms over here and a 2k ohms over here. And this guy will cancel this guy. The 2k ohms times the 51 divided by the 1.05k ohms gives me, when I compute it, let's see, we have two thousand times 51 divided by 1050. So 
this guy times this guy divided by this guy here gives me 97.14 times V in minus V O C is equal to V O C. Okay, so I can get then the VN and the VOCs on different sides of the equation. And I do that to get 97.14 VN is equal to 97.14 plus 1 times VOC. And finally, I get VOC is equal to um, solving for VOC in terms of V1, 97.14 divided by 97.14 plus 1. So VOC is equal to point nine let's see nine nine zero of V N. Okay, so what this says is that my open circuit voltage, this guy here, is point nine nine times my input voltage, this guy. Okay, so that's good. That's given us VOC. The next thing we need to do in order to find the R thevenin, well, actually in a sense we're halfway done because we now have VOC, but to find R thevenin we also have to find the short circuit current. So let's bring up a clean, a clean diagram and let's now find the short circuit current. So I short the two terminals here and now I want to find ISC. And we want to get rid of this little guy here because that could lead to misunderstanding. Okay, so I need to find the short circuit current. This is going to be a little strange in the sense that um, you're often not used to, uh, to uh, working with things like this. So if I short these two terminals together, to get ISC. So if I short this guy and this guy together, the voltage across them is zero, which means that the voltage across this resistor is zero, which means that the current through this resistor is also zero. And if I have the current through the resistor equal to zero, it's actually not affecting the output at all. So I can just chop this guy completely out of the circuit, which I do because that will make life a little easier. Um, so what we can see then, if we apply Kirchhoff's current law to this point here, is that the short circuit current is going to be equal to IB plus 50 IB. And we can write this, I guess, as 51 IB. Okay. Well, now I need to figure out what uh, IB is. You'll notice the voltage from here to here is the same as VN because from here all the way down through my short circuit and back around, that's all just a wire. So basically the voltage across the series combination of the 1K ohm and the 50 ohm resistor is um, Vn, so I can then say that Ib is equal to Vn over 1.05 k ohms. And again, the 1.05 comes from adding this guy and this guy together times, oh, whoops, that's correct. So that means that the short circuit current will be 51 divided by 1.05 k ohms times Vn. 
and I can work this out to get that the short circuit current is 0 0.0486 times Vn. Okay, well, we now have everything we need to compute the Thevenin equivalent resistance. We have... Oops, went back one too far. Okay, we have that um, the short circuit current is 0 0.0486 times Vn. We have that the open circuit voltage is given by 0.99 Vn. So I'll just uh, cut away some stuff here to leave some space. And we'll cut away this stuff because it's uh, extraneous now. So now we have then that the Thevenin equivalent resistance is given by the open circuit voltage, which is 0 0.990 Vn, divided by the short circuit current, which is 0 0.0486 Vn. And so if we, the VNs here will cancel. And so if we do the computation, we get then that the Thevenin equivalent resistance is 20.0 seven ohms. Okay, so we're pretty much done. Uh, we know that this circuit, this guy up here, has an equivalent Thevenin representation where the input is 0.99 Vn. I'm sorry, not the input, but the source. And the resistance is 20.37 ohms. And that pretty much does it. You can see that uh, the circuit does not change, or its output voltage is almost the same as its input voltage, and it has an output resistance of 20.37 ohms. Now, um, in a previous example, uh, I also used just equivalent resistances to find the Thevenin equivalent. We can't do that here because we have, we could zero out, um, we could zero out this source, but there's no way to zero out this dependent source. So because I have a dependent source here, I can't just uh, zero out sources and then find an equivalent resistance. I have to take uh, the Thevenin equivalent as uh, VOC over ISC. So that concludes this example. Thanks for watching, and I hope it helps.